Hello and welcome in Scapians. This is Suchit and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful looking heart shapes in Inkscape. And if you if you take a look at these shapes, they all look different because they are made with different methods, with different approach, and that's what we're going to learn in this video. Okay, let me open up a new document and let's do some initial document setup. Now if you notice I don't have a page border because that just distract me, but you can always go back to file, document properties, and check this box that says show page border that will give you page border but I'll just uncheck this close this then I'll go to view and I'll keep my zooming view to one one to one that will give me 100% zooming view and I'll also go to edit go to all the way down to preference and click on this tool option and make sure you you select the geometric bounding box and not visual bounding box I'll talk about this details you know uh, in my coming videos now let's get started with our first heart shape which is going to be this one now this one if you take a closer look at this one this looks more like a geometric heart shape okay and we're going to create that with a rectangle tool and the shortcut key uh, the rectangle tool is R just drag it and about the size uh, 120 pixels of width and 250 pixels of height make sure you have pixels selected from the uh, drop down list edge of a rectangle tool is a sharp we're going to make it rounded rectangle okay a rounded corner so just click on the edit path by notes although we have not converted this into path but we'll still get these options and we're going to click on this circle and drag it all the way down we're going to duplicate this by hitting ctrl d we can also select an object and then right click and then duplicate. Now I'm going to uh, flip this like 90 degree. So click here. I'll change the color. All right. Now we're going to select this object, the bottom object, and we're going to duplicate that by hitting Control D. With this already being selected, we will press and hold Shift key and then click on this green object to do multiple selection. We we'll go to Path and then we'll click on division what that will do is that will separate the objects that is that that was not overlapping okay and we will get rid of this object now or to give you a sense of idea of what we are trying to achieve here is we trying to get this shape sorry for the bad drawing okay so we'll get rid of this part to do that just click here in this object and then press and hold shift the bottom object go to path and then again the division and we'll click here delete now hover over your mouse all the objects and go to path union okay now click one second on this object to get this rotation handle press and hold the control key and then click on this rotation handle drag it one step two step three step with every step you get 15 degree increment now that's our first heart shape guy okay all right now we'll create our next shape which is this and that we're going to create with our ellipse tool which is right here the shortcut key is e and then we need a proportional set or circle okay so make sure you use the modifiers control and shift hold the control and shift and drag it diagonally to get this proper circle and we're going to convert this into path we will go to edit path by nodes select this node and we will press and hold the control key and then drag it down the reason why we are clicking on control that will constrain the node or any object you know that you selected to the vertical and horizontal axis and the same thing we're going to do on this node too and we're going to drag it down to about this much okay and now let's select both We'll make this node cusp so click one and then twice now select this node press and hold the shift key click on the node and drag it you will see a handle coming out of it like this now we're going to do the same thing on the other side all right like that that's our second heart shape actually I'll get the dropper tool just click here so that's our second heart shape guys 
all right uh, let's create our third heart shape which is this and we need two circles and one equilateral triangle okay so click here control shift drag control D to duplicate and I'll just turn off the snapping tool I'll change the color of the duplicate object and I'll press control and then drag it don't align it to the edge to edge okay it's okay if you overlap this over another object about that much now we go to the polygon tool make sure you have these three corners and you have this selected press control and then drag it like this I'll change the color and I'll turn this back on and I'll snap this to this point and this point of triangle to here I'll make this a little smaller all right I'll select all of the object now go to path union I'll go to edit path by nodes click on this two node I'll make this auto smooth to do that just click here now if you don't see this handle you know when while selecting the nodes then you may have this option turn off see what happens when I turn this off okay that will remove the transformation handle we need that now Okay, so just select those two and click on the transformation handle. Excuse me, that will give you a tran uh, transformation handle. Now press and hold the control and shift key. Click one of this handle. Make sure you select the handle and not the nodes. Okay, click here and then just drag it like this. And I'll just move this to about this much. That's our third heart shape, guys. Well, let's move on to the fourth one actually our last two heart shapes we're going to create from the bezier pen now if you have not used that bezier pen you know it's about the time you start using it because because it's such a powerful tool and but that's okay if you have not you know used it before or if you just follow along this video you will do fine okay so click on the bezier pen and make sure you have this first option selected I'll click anywhere on the ca canvas and then press control and move your cursor straight up and then double click go to edit path by notes click on this segment and then just drag it now we need an additional node to create an additional node we will double click on the curve that will give you handles now now we're going to manipulate this shape okay just follow that's perfect yep and we're going to duplicate that by hitting ctrl D and then flip this horizontally and we're going to select both this object then go to align and distribution panel and select this and go to path union all right that's our fourth heart shape guys I like the curve of this shape just get the drop a tool I have this color and I'm gonna get rid of the stroke of the shape I don't need that so uh, press and hold the shift key and then click on this X button here that's our fourth heart shape now we will move on to our fifth heart shape finally and this is my personal favorite let's do that for that we will have to use the grids to do that we will go to file document properties that will open this dialog box you will see a lot of uh, tabs here we will click on grids and from this drop down menu rectangular and axonometric we will click rectangular grid click new that will give you this uh, grid on your canvas now of course we can change the size of our grids do that just enter 30 pixels of spacing X and 30 pixels of spacing Y and just close this and make sure you have all these snapping tools turned on I will talk about this in details you know in my coming videos now go to the Bezier pen and make sure you have the se second option selected okay so click anywhere on the intersection point and then we'll click here we'll click somewhere here and then we'll come back and then click this so double click here 
make sure this node should be vertically aligned with the node that we started with okay now we're going to duplicate this by hitting control d flip this select both of them and go to path uh, actually we're going to align first okay make sure to click this and then go to path then union we'll get rid of the grids we don't need it now so go to Control shift t that will open this document properties and we will select grid and then remove it all right that's our fifth hardship guys i'll take the dropper tool give this color and i'll get rid of the stroke by pressing shift and then clicking on this x button so that's how you create hard shapes in Inkscape now these are the some hearts that are hard to break I'm sure there are many other ways to create heart maybe uh, someday I'll make a part two of this so if you learn something new smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to get more of this video and you know about the bell icon right and I'll also share the SVG file in the description so you can use that you know, in whatever way you want and also let me know uh, which one is your favorite from this thank you for watching